What we're making here is uh, an alternative uh, to the regular fine jewelry that we find in, in most of the shows. So this is a, a, an organic material. It's a, it's a seed from the tropical rainforest of Ecuador and it's sustainably harvested with fair trade values, fair trade uh, principles. Uh, the way that I, I uh, my inspiration of using seeds is because this is a, a burgeoning company. I'm uh, new and uh, launched in October. So uh, I thought of uh, uh, when my birth, the birth of my kids uh, happened, uh, I thought, well, let's create something that means the birth and creation of things. And I think that's important. Um, birth, a birth of a thought, a birth of a, of a living being. Uh, these things are important. And perhaps maybe we should elevate the importance of certain other eco elements, other concepts into the realm of fine jewelry itself. And I refine it just like any other gemstone, like a diamond or like a, a turquoise or any other gemstone where they find a rough and they slice it, they find the appropriate grains that don't have too many imperfections, uh, that the color is well, and uh, after I find the appropriate material, then I, I make uh, my collection, which is my classic collection. Uh, that has several different series with basic shapes, with slight accents of gold and diamonds um, to uh, identify a certain individuality. In other words, because you're using uh, uh, eco elements and you want to make a statement, make the statement with stern individuality. And that's what I try to expose and show in my, in my line. Well, in this piece, particularly the affinity pendant, I'm using uh, diamonds, a combination of diamonds and Paraiva tourmalines in melee size. Uh, the tourmalines, uh, to get this size uh, tourmalines in, 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 in a melee size and this color, it's quite challenging. Uh, most of them get uh, the clarity and the color uh, lose, uh, gets lost. Uh, in the affinity, in the larger affinity piece, we have a turquoise, a natural turquoise from Arizona. Uh, and it's not stabilized. And I use diamonds around it to accent it. In the next series, uh, the cycles uh, ring, uh, I use a sapphire really nice made sapphire and diamonds on the side of the edges. This particular piece, uh, with the exception of the diamond, is a purely all American uh, made gems. Uh, Yogo sapphires from Montana, from the mines of Montana. And these are fair trade. Uh, in this one, in the cardinal pendant, uh, we use uh, all diamond, the really nice made, really nice cut diamonds. And in the return pendant, the same thing, all really nice made, nice cut diamonds. And in my parallel pendant, uh, the same thing. Uh, the fact that it's fair trade and that it's organic, uh, it's getting a dull take. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's getting some uh, interest uh, from the press and from uh, buyers. Uh, quite frankly, they're, they're unsure of, of the material. And hopefully with the first collection that I'm introducing, uh, and, and I'm introducing it quite sternly, uh, they, they, the, the buyers that are uh, confident about this new green movement will come in and, and, and buy in.